Greetings. Um, this one's going to be really quick. Uh, this is your liberal mancy reading for the week starting Monday, February 19th. All right. Um, okay. So this is the local newspaper called Geneva Reaper. This is an article that I wrote officially making me a reporter instead of just a story writer about uh, the Chakwahatchee River rising and flood conditions hit Geneva. All right, so this is the Liber Mancy reading. I haven't actually read anything, so you're going to see this one completely off the fly. I'm just going to say what comes out, and we'll worry about putting it together later. All right, this is for uh, February 14th, 2018. So the National Weather Service in Tallahassee issued a flood warning on Sunday through Friday. Okay, so Sunday through Friday, that's important. Also, instantly what that tells me is, because I wrote the story and I remember what it's about, <clears throat> the flood was supposed to, expected to get really high, but it didn't get as high as it was expected to get. And it's, you know, this is Friday. Thursday was when it was supposed to be at 26 feet, but it had already started receding. So essentially, the danger is past is what is what uh, is what that's about. So that that's saying um, in, anything that you are experiencing in your life that's like um, a danger or a challenge or or something that you've been struggling through flies. Um, it's past. It's past. All right, we're gonna draw a past life card real quick. Spirit just guided me to that. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I'm just rolling with it, you know. I just honor. I just honor God. I honor Spirit when uh, when I'm guided. This one right here? Okay. So this is the one card we're drawing. Um, I've got a bunch of decks, but this is all, this is all we're using today. All right. Put that back. Different stuff. All right, that's the top. Sometimes it's funny when you can't quite figure out. Oh, is this the top or is this the bottom? You don't know. You don't know which way is up. Some might say. And uh, I don't know. I'm looking at the screen. I'm seeing me, but maybe I should be looking at that hole where the light is. Okay, vows. So this is about vows, past life vows. So, in past lives, have you experienced? Oh, okay, so this is what they're telling me this means. Uh, you're having erectile dysfunction, or you're having sexual dysfunction, or you're having trouble getting money in your life. Um, despite doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, and even honoring you know, your spiritual calling to the best you can, um, vows. Maybe what's going on is this could be a result of you making a uh, vows in a past life. Maybe you were a monk. Maybe you were a priest. Maybe you were uh, an ascetic, which it's A-S-C-E-T-I-C. -E I'll put that as one of the words, uh, vocabulary words for the week. Ascetic is a term that means somebody who basically suffers, makes themselves suffer, um, essentially fasts in all kinds of ways. Stops, you know, doesn't eat, goes without sex, stays away from people, just fasts from all kinds of, of common things that most people experience daily. They may even fast from water. And ascetics do some crazy stuff. Buddha was an ascetic before he became enlightened, um, as the story goes. Anyway, um, any of those types of things, you may have set up a vow of chastity, a vow of poverty, a vow of um, humility. Is uh, I've never heard of that, but a vow of humility is coming to me. And see, these are all things that have benefits. But in this lifetime, you're probably not meant to have those restrictions, right? And you can regain being able to uh, live your life now if you do some past life regression and find out what those vows are. 
Now, there's some people that that say that you can do like sole contract revocations, and I've done them before, and they they have some significance. But the people that purport so sole contract revocations um, also say that you have to do them over and over and over and over because it's like breaking a pattern. It's like breaking a habit uh, that's already ingrained, building new pathways, neural pathways in your mind. So there's that. All right. So past life regression, if you can uh, get it, is highly recommended. You got to get out of the loop of saying, well, I can't afford it, and that's why I won't do it. Uh, if you were going to die tomorrow because you didn't know what happened in previous lifetime and how that is affecting you now and what you can do now to change that, wouldn't that be something that was important enough for you to scratch up a hundred bucks and go pay for a past life regression? Something to think about. All right. <clears throat> the other book, the Constitution. They showed me the Constitution. All right, Spirit, thank you for surrounding us with love and light, protecting us from those who do us harm and guiding us on a path for greater good. Please guide me to the page that has the message uh, most applied for the people today. Here. Keep going. No, here. Okay. This side or this side? Oh, right here. Right where my finger was. Okay. My article two, article three. Article three. Okay, so article three of the Articles of Confederation of the United States Constitution of 1787 says... The said states hereby severally enter into a firm league of friendship with each other for their common defense, the security of their liberties, and their mutual and general welfare. Okay, there's more to it, but Spirit wants me to stop there. So, mutual and general welfare. This is about <clears throat> people binding together, realizing that there's no point being at odds with each other anymore. Um, people who've been at odds with each other, groups that have been at odds with each other, have to bind together so that we can face what's coming. Now, I don't like to be a Cassandra saying, you know, things are going to be destroyed and this and that, but that's that always happens, right? Things get destroyed. Things get destroyed so that things can get built again, you know, better, etc. Um I can't see the future. I don't know what's going to happen. But what I can see is possibilities. Well, let me see. Likelihoods. I can see likelihoods. And Spirit shows me these likelihoods. And we always have the choice as a society and as individuals to change what our future will hold. The more a message gets out to people uh, to change their hearts to love, and less to resentment. I mean, competition it, it can be good. Competition can drive people to succeed. But as long as you're not using competition as a way to, to take from somebody else, to say, okay, I'm going to do this so you can't have this, you know. You, competition should make both of you better, all right? Um, anyway, join together. This is the time to join forces. This week, those who were separated apart need to join forces this may be husbands and wives who have separated because of infidelity or problems in a marriage or whatever they need to come back together this may be church factions you know pentecostals and um, i don't know catholic zealots or something they need to come together this week something is going on this week maybe it has to do with the post eclipse i don't know that's the message i'm getting there you go all right, the last book uh, we're working with here is Your Guide to Good Health, Unlocking the Power of Your Lymphatic System by Elaine Hruska, H-R-U-S-K-A. All right, Spirit, please guide me to the passage that we need the people to see. And that's it. This side. Right here. Okay. Okay. Especially, okay, so we're at the bottom of page 76. It says, especially in throat, lung and intestines especially, 
that the greater portion of the circulation is carried on. So what this is talking about is in your throat, lungs, and intestines. So the digestive tract down to here. This is where the greater portion of your digestion and also of your what they're showing me is finding of your emotions and your thoughts because there's a second brain in your gut. I don't know if you guys know that. There's a second brain in your gut. A scientists discovered the nerve cells that make that second brain is even huger than the brain that's up here. Um, they discovered that in like the early half of the 20th century. So in other words, sometime before the 1950s. But that's one of those, you know, kind of hidden things. Hidden because... A lot of people didn't know about it, and hidden because uh, some people forgot about it, right? But now with the internet, it's kind of come back out. Um, I first learned about that in a book. Uh, I think it was called "Physician Heal Thyself" or something. Something is by Jordan Rubin. He, I guess, he was starving. He had some emaciated situation, and then he found that eating dirt uh, had probiotics in it. And you can you can look up Jordan Rubin's books if you want. But anyway. It's in the digestive system. So look at your digestion this, this week. Is there things that you shouldn't be eating, that you know that you shouldn't be eating, that spirit and your guidance is telling you, hey, dude, do that. Don't eat that. It's not good for you. Um, even though Jimmy John can eat 10 pizzas and drink six you know, gallons of beer and still function fine and not seem to have a problem, you may not have the constitution to be able to do that. And it's not a challenge. You just may not be vibrating on the frequency that will let you do that. You may be, you may, like, especially if you're a light worker, you may have a higher purpose in life that makes it so that you are not going to be able to do those things. On the other hand, you may be able to do those things. There just may be an energy block because you are... Basically, you're slacking off at work. What do I mean by that? Well, if we all, if we think about our purpose in life as the job we're doing for God, as employees for God on earth to help the earth become better, you know, earth and the people on it and the animals and everything on earth, right? To help it become a better place. And if we think of our spiritual guidance as doing that job for God, and we're not following our spiritual guidance, then we're basically uh, slacking off at work while our employer is paying us to do a job. Is that fair? No, it's not fair. Uh, why do we slack off? Because we don't like the work that we've been tasked to do. But here's the thing about working for God. God only gives you work that you're going to enjoy doing. You may not think you're going to enjoy it, but <laughs> but in my experience, you find out, like here I am playing guitar in a church choir down south, and I never would have seen myself in that situation. Uh, but I enjoy it. I love it. So here I am. Uh, blessed be, you know. Um, okay, so... Hopefully some of that has touched you guys. Let that be your blessing for the week. I love you all, and have a great week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, make me famous. All right. Bye-bye.